Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome to my first ever Minecraft series. For this series, we're going to be building Juiceville. And I'm using the uh, newest Tekkit mod, or mod pack, that just came out last week. Uh, it's for 1.5.1. .1. And you see I've already got a nice little seed and location chosen. I picked this spot because there's a lot of available resources and it's still relatively flat so there's uh, there's a lot to be said about that. It makes for an easy starter building area. Now of course uh, to survive night one we gotta go get some wood get things moving and I'm very excited to uh, check out the tree capitator mod. So the very first thing I'm going to do is get myself a uh, wooden axe made. That way I can really see this mod in its full glory. Alright. So let's get that axe made. some sticks and let's get our axe and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and make a pickaxe and since there are uh, quite a few sheep in the area let's go ahead and get a wooden sword as well Pick that guy back up and let's see the uh, tree capitator at its finest. There we go. That's awesome. Takes out the entire tree just by uh, removing the lowest block. So that is indeed very, very kick ass. Yeah, it's cheating a little, but uh, I don't mind taking some of the grind out. Doesn't bother me at all. So let's go ahead and uh, get a nice little supply of wood here. Still got a long ways to go before uh, the night gets here. It is more than enough wood. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly down into this wonderful ravine over here. Where is that ravine? There it is. And uh, see if I've got any coal. Looks like there's some very easy to grab iron. And here is some coal. So let's go ahead and uh, get at least a couple of pieces of coal to build a few torches. Now this series I am going to be skipping most of this grind. I just wanted to go ahead and show uh, all of night one, at least, the first couple days and first night or two. Alright, and then let's go ahead and uh, grab some sheep while they're right here all handy. Come here sheepy. And one more and I can build a bed. Oh, he's running. Alright, so is that three? That's only two wool. I need one more. One of the first things I want to do, uh, you know, after I get past night one, obviously, is to uh, start building my first little house. Got uh, just a ton of time left. I'm going to build that right on top of the little hole that I, uh, I end up staying in here. But first things first, we need to get uh, this first night underway. Mm. 
Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, that little spot there, too. Get some stone. We'll be able to make some uh, stone weapons here right out of the gates, which will be nice. Get this little hole finished off here. I don't know how many how many rows down do I want to go before I want to build a room out. I think this is probably going to be sufficient. Yeah, that's more than sufficient. So let's just go ahead and uh, build our little first night room on out here. Our pick is getting uh, getting a little low. any second now and there it is so let me go ahead and get the crafting station down and I want to uh, to get a door in place for sure let's get a uh, nice supply of wood here and get a door built So I'm going to have to put a little dirt up above, which is fine, and directly next to, which is fine as well. I only ended up getting one piece of coal out of that, but that's alright. That's going to be enough to uh, get a torch up at least. See, so let's go right here. Let's put a couple outside here as well. Mm. Try to keep all the baddies away from us. Quite the uh, little one-bedroom studio I got going here. However, we do have the basics in place to survive this first night, with, which shouldn't really be any problems at all. Another reason I chose this area was uh, there's an abundance of rubber trees very close by. Let's see, let's burn... Uh, let's burn these saplings up here to get some more coal. And can in turn make some more torches. Then I can go ahead and burn up my... Uh, wooden axe and wooden sword while I'm at it and make some stone stuff. Will the birch burn? Yeah, it will. Alright, so there's a few more pieces of coal for us. see some more sticks and I'll be uh, pretty well good to go I think yeah 13 torches that will uh, get me through the evening nicely do I want to make up some more coal or do I want to save that for now I think I want to go ahead and make some more coal, so let's get those saplings back in there and get that stuff cooking. Oh, you know what? I wanted to burn up that wooden, uh, wooden sword. Let's burn up this wooden axe as well. Mm. 
And then we'll leave the less leave the saplings just go in there. Alright, so let's get See there's a stone axe. Gonna need uh, a couple more sticks. The old stone pickaxe. Be nice, uh, nice little additions to wave or to uh, evening one here. And a stone sword because I'm going to be uh, grilling up some steaks here come tomorrow. All right, now I've also got uh, now that I can build this room out a little bit more. Move that furnace over once. Uh, once all that charcoal is done cooking up. And we got a nice little uh, evening one room here. I uh, must admit, for any of any of you that are just considering Minecraft or are new to it, I was not a believer for quite some time. However, after playing around with it a little bit, I actually find it ridiculously enjoyable. And uh, for those of you who know me, you know that that is... I don't give any uh, any overstatements. I try to tell it like it is. If I don't like something, I say I don't like it. Alright, so let's go one more block back on the uh, depth. I haven't hit any anything special here yet to, to mine up. This pickaxe is about wrecked. And let's see, do I want to make a bed? Let's get a bed going. Make these nights go by a bit quicker. I'll put the bed right behind the furnace. <laughs> let's see, and uh, the night is pretty much right upon us still not nothing good just uh just the cobblestone I was hoping to see something in here but it's all good probably don't really need any fuller of a basement here this is a pretty nice little starting room so let's go ahead and Let's see, let's go one more back, and then I can center everything a little bit easier. Of course, as we uh, move along, our central office is going to be directly above this little hole here, our little first night hovel. The little underground shanty. See, we're lit up nice. We got all the goodies we need. Hell, let me go ahead and just spoil myself since I got so much cobblestone. Look at that. We got stairs now. Alright, so everything should be good and cleared out outside. 
Huh, I thought I went to sleep. I guess I didn't go to sleep. Sleep would be a good idea, though. See, I'll get a torch right there as well. And let's go ahead and take it. Oh, monster's nearby. Oh, you can believe that. There he is right there. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. There we go. Is there any monsters nearby now? <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. So we got the next morning coming up here. I do want to start building down um, into a mine here. Let me go ahead and take uh, take this charcoal. I want to move this stuff over a little bit. Don't want to have any risk of fire right there on top of the bed. Let's see, let's put the crafting table. We'll just put it right there. We'll go with the furnace right next to it. Now I would want to uh, get a chest made couple of them in fact because I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of farming and gonna run out of space really quickly so let's go ahead and get these guys thrown down right there and we're good to face the day let's go ahead and uh, head on out and see what's up here any baddies close by not really seeing anything. Alright, so to start this next day, I want to get the kind of the base foundation of my uh, building set. That way, tomorrow, the next day, I can go ahead and start. Uh... Oh, we need stakes too. I can't forget about the stakes. I promised myself some red meat. Anyway, I want to get this area cleared because I'm going to put the first building directly around this hole. So I'm going to go ahead and jump forward through that, but basically I'm just going to go farm up some wood. I've got plenty of uh, space left. And I'm going to do a little weed whacking and get this area cleared out. So let me go ahead and jump on forward. Alright, so you see we have hired the landscapers, got this area cleared out. I want to head on over to this jungle area here and show where the power of the tree capitator just goes insane and that is on this jungle wood nuts look at all that good lord just scattered everywhere alright so let's uh... let's take down just a couple more of those guys actually just one more of those guys might get the job done this will give us enough enough wood to pretty much do whatever how much jungle wood do I have here now? Yeah, see, I've already got a full stack plus 29. Holy crap. Ridiculous. All right, so now I'm going to head on back. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really bother me at all that there's still uh, quite a bit of sunlight left, and I'm not even really concerned with sleeping through the next night because the next big stage really is we're going to be starting. Uh, come on, dinner, sit still. There we go. We're going to be starting our uh, our mine shaft going down, hoping to find some iron. 
Once I get some iron tools made, then I'll uh, venture over into that that ravine a bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get back over to the base. We'll get that mine started. And then uh, as soon as I get a... Uh, actually, I've got a pretty nice supply of s cobblestone right now. Maybe I should... Uh, just go ahead and start the foundation. Not even worry about the mine yet. Let's do that. So I want to make a nice big building around here. See, we've still got some sun. See, let's go out, say, to here. See, is that about right? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I want to make sure my building is uh, plenty big enough. And now, uh, now we just box it all in. I've got got it all counted off here let's see sun's going down but it's all good I want to get a nice foundation in here just a big large rectangular building and losing losing sunlight pretty quickly and there goes my uh, my stone pickaxe hopefully I run into some iron here pretty soon Getting dark, I better head on in, grill up these steaks, have a nice little nap. Let's go ahead and get on into the crib there. We got some steaks to grill, that's for sure. gonna be yummy all right now what did I want to do with all this jungle wood I wanted to make a bunch of stairs wow that's a lot so I want to make some stairs I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a couple more chests in fact let me just go ahead and get that done. Let's get uh, I'm going to have jungle wood stairs going down into my mine. So we want to go ahead and get uh, this chest, a couple more chests laid down here. I'll get those marked once I uh, get to that stage. Seeing what else do we need. I'm definitely going to be needing another stone pickaxe since I don't uh, don't yet have any iron and I'm gonna go ahead and start building my mine shaft down I'm gonna uh, do I need more torches first maybe I should make some more some more torches first before I start that off twenty five torches now that uh, that should get me so I'm gonna go ahead and start right down out of this corner right here and I will uh, jump back on forward once my mine shaft is started 
and I can start uh, doing a little more work upstairs. Right, so we're back. I got my mine shaft started, headed on down. I still need to uh, to knock these blocks out and put in some my jungle wood stairs. Now I did start to expand out here because I ran into a little bit of iron. So I want to get up here. Got my stakes are all done as well, and as you see, I'm completely starving. So now that I've got a little iron, though, I want to get that smelted. There we go. Five iron ore. And uh, we'll, let's, we'll let that go. And then I want to start throwing some of this junk into my chest here. Free up a little of my room. See, that's an oak and jungle sapling. Seeds I don't need. Roses are always nice. See, I got copper ore, I got some stairs, there's more seeds. See, we got oak, we got jungle wood. Stone, and what else? Yeah, I can just keep the dirt there, huh? Yeah, we'll do that for now. Let's check on our smelting operation. Got five iron ingots here now. And that is going to head right over to our crafting table here. And we're going to get uh, the old iron, iron pickaxe. See, that stone axe is just about dead. Might as well um, get another stone axe made at least. Well, we can cut down some more trees. And I'm good with my stone sword for the moment. See, and it is dark out. Let me go ahead and take a little nap. Oop, it is daylight. There we go. And let's see what we got running around. Got some baddies to kill here. We can't have this riffraff running around. Golden poots. Awesome. I was not expecting that. That's kick ass. So let's see where we left off here. I want to, uh, I've got this abundance of jungle wood. So I'm going to start building out, let's see, and then we need to go a ceiling above that, huh? We'll go wood there. See, so I'm going to have windows. The windows. Need to put a door in somewhere, obviously. See, looking good. Our little crib is building up as we speak. Looking nice. So tomorrow, in my next episode, I'm going to uh, farm up some rubber trees. It's going to be important that we have a uh, nice supply of rubber. I'm going to go ahead and get some stairs in the mix down here. 
And then also I want to get this uh, building finished out. So to do that, I'm going to have to go farm up a bunch of sand. Going to make some glass. And then in turn, make some windows. And that will be a nice little addition to the crib. Alright, so we are set. Now where do I want to put a door in? Maybe I'll go with double doors, like right here or something. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll be able to find a spot, no problem. So there's the start. There's the first couple of days. Uh, thanks for watching. This will be a fun series. As I mentioned before, we're using the Tekkit Mod Pack for 1.5.1. Um, that does include Galactic Craft. So uh, although we will be doing some juicing, starting a little uh, orange juice production facility, maybe even get some other juices in the mix. Our end goal is going to be to get into space, the wild blue yonder. So I uh, can't wait to see if we can make that happen. This is where we're at right now. Thanks for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.